What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Now, time for your daily XRP update. And boy, is this a good one. There is a ton of stuff coming out right now that a lot, a lot of people seem to be talking about. But it is a massive piece of news. XRP really building in this bear market, ready to absolutely showcase why we are all so excited on this coin now if you're bullish on xrp make sure you subscribe to the channel we cover it every day as well as follow me over on twitter where you can get the latest and breaking news when it comes to xrp as well as the rest of the cryptocurrency market with that being said let's get into the first one of these articles so ripple engineer decodes a rare xrp liquidity feature on xrpl now i'm going to just tell you exactly what it says in this article we'll break it down a little bit but it says according to hana it is possible to provide liquidity for a restricted token that is resident on the XRPL. So remember the XRPL ledger. By restricted token, he meant digital assets that require a trust line to authorize its usage. And by this allowance, this feature makes the XRPL automated market maker a more flexible entity than any other in the industry. Huge. I'll repeat that. The XRPL automated market maker is a more flexible entity than any other in the industry today. Fantastic news. And again, this has kind of been born out of Neil Hartner, the engineer at Ripple Labs, looking into the XRPL ledger. We know this will fundamentally cause the cross-border payments. We know that it's going to go into the institutions. And I think it's a massive step and certainly one that is very, very welcome. He does break it down a little bit further here in terms of what that kind of could look like. And ultimately, again, just allowing people to build on XRPL, really bringing a use case for it. And I think it's a fantastic development, one that a lot of people do need to hear about. Again, Hartner was quoted by saying that it's an exceptional liquidity rebalancing and the suggested protocol is indeed one of its kind per his interaction with his followers. Hartner presented the XRPL as a smart contract network that can accommodate users with varying investment interests big news now developing further on from that the xrp lawsuit and i thought this was a really interesting point when it talks about the sec and it's court to grant the appeal now we know that we're still waiting to see whether judge torres will go ahead with this but there were some really interesting statements not only from the ripple team but equally from lawyers out there a couple of these have been here it says while the interlocutory appeal should be the exception not the rule this is unusual case where the defendants themselves say that the issue has industry-wide significance and are of special consequence and thus a precise the type of case as to which the second circuit is invited into appeal the sec argued now what's kind of crazy that with this is the sec are wanting this mid court case appeal based upon secondary sales through cryptocurrency markets it actually states specifically the sales through the uh, cryptocurrency exchanges while at the same time, we're going to allow FTX to sell $3.8 billion on the secondary market. It's absolutely insane. And it, what it screams of, then it's really, really interesting here. Stuart Aldridge, Ripple's chief legal officer, says, it's another SEC filing, another hypocritical pivot. After years of its chairman saying the rules are clear and must be obeyed, the SEC now cries that an appeal is urgently needed to resolve these knotty legal problems. And he couldn't have said it more important himself. You take a look at the price. We've just seen a big sell-off in the market. Bitcoin dropping to about 26478 Again, XRP dropping to about $0.49 cents as it comes back up. As we go into a pretty strong week, FOMC coming this week, but what is very interesting when we talk about XRP as well as the rest of the cryptocurrency market is if you want to head over and grab yourself a trading position on Fairdesk, there is a link in the description. You equally can come and follow me. There I am, 2 Crypto. There you can see three people currently following it. We've got 29 trades. 83% is our win ratio for the last seven days with $122 profit. We're in a couple of short trades right now, so that will definitely change. But check out the link in the description, head over to Fairdesk and sign it off. But I want to talk about chat GPT really quickly before I get into this next article. But what does it say? It says an AI model brims with encyclopedic data and can use vast knowledge of historical cryptocurrency markets to make potentially accurate predictions. That is a view of ChatGPT. It can pull resources from everywhere. So when you start talking about ChatGPT, talking about a two to three dollar xrp by the end of this year will you kind of stand up and listen now you've always got to take price predictions with a grain of salt however when you think about where we're going with the sec case you think about the ftx selling off you think about the fact that we've seen loads of new innovation coming out of the xrp ledger as well as the token itself a two dollar a three dollar xrp by the end of the year certainly feels very very possible it says here xrp immediately surged after that ripple went up to 90.08 
eight. And again, I think we'll see this again once the case. Now, whether we see the case finishing this year, that will ultimately, my prediction, determine the price point. But I think certainly as we get through this interlocutory appeal, even if they deny the interlocutory appeal to go ahead, I can see the price of XRP significantly move into the upside, given everything that it's coming. You can see there how ChatGPT says an AI solution can certainly be used to obtain clarity, specifically ChatGPT's open AI sourceware and generative AI models. So again, take it with a pinch of salt. If we take a look here on the chart and we kind of take a view of, okay, where would a dollar be as an example, taken from where we currently sit, it's about a hundred percent move from where we are and then about 200 percent up to that kind of higher point that we get is it possible well you think about there's a ton of things coming there's a lot of hype ready to instill into the market as well as institutional investment we know it's there we know hedge funds are driving this price down they want to get into a cheap price all you have to do is look at the wider cryptocurrency market and see exactly where we are we're back down to 1.05 trillion after those heights of about 1.2 with a lot of the coins that they want to get into taking a hit ethereum xrp cardano solana and many others all down waiting for that investment to come in now like we said fomc this week could be interesting we could definitely see some moves up on xrp but like i said head over to the fair desk follow what i'm trading it definitely looks short to me in the market but let me know in the comments down below what are you going on on xrp are you waiting for the dip to buy in are you dcaing in or are you all in expecting a strong move as ever thank you so much don't forget to subscribe if you want to get today all of your latest in xrp and cryptocurrency content leave a like on this video and i'll see you guys all in the next one Bye bye